What's up, Roy? Welcome to the channel. My name is Barry. Today I have a new air filter that I want to try out. Uh, this is going to go in there. The old one's going to come out. And I'm just, to be honest, I do not know if it's going to be better or worse. Uh, because the one I currently have is an A filter. I'll show you here in a little bit. And you know what? Let me just show you now. Let me just take it off and show you how I install it. Before I switch any filter, I want to see the current readings on the math sensor. I have an OBD2, I have OBD Fusion. And so I'm gonna be able to use it to see and measure and just any metrics. I just want any metrics to see if this thing's gonna do anything. Measuring 14.6, 0.7, 0.8, 8. How about this one? The math is at 0.71 hmm it's not too bad 10 millimeter just take it all the way off and then i will talk about how different the filters are uh typically most people wouldn't have a heat shield but um if you do you know take it off first simple put that aside we got the yep the flap okay so be careful with these these things come loose and they'll easy to easy to lose so yeah don't don't lose them all right okay so what am i trying to do i'm trying to take the old one out and compare these two and then put this one in okay let's uh got the new filter got the box split all i'm gonna do is just pull this back a little bit enough to squeeze this thing out do you you could do it you could take off the whole thing i just prefer not to because it just makes it harder i guess i mean this is hard as it is but it makes it it's still it's still pretty easy to just wiggle it out you know i mean for anybody that doesn't know how to take an air filter out this is how you do it for lexus rcf wow oh all that stuff just came out all that gunk just want to start off by sharing that all that dirt came from here so it's about time I change out to a new one. Pretty dirty, pretty dirty. What I want to do with this, since this is the outside, I kind of, where's the pull at? Oh, here we go. Grab like that. Got the car in the back. I just want to see this side is the ins intake side. This is the outside. Uh, smack the shit out of it. Smack the crap out of it. Look. Tell you, make sure it's make sure it's reusable. You know. All right, probably not gonna reuse this for the next I don't know two months. I'm gonna wash this and then uh, reuse it eventually. But I just want to compare the filters. So I don't have an OEM filter with me, but I will say an OEM. Own filter probably doesn't look like either of these. Uh, I believe it's something similar to this, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, so this is the outside sucking in. This is outside sucking in. You could tell it's got, I mean, that's how they do it. And it's how Tom's filter do it. It's got three layers. Three layers. Not bad. Flip around, pretty clean, I'd say. It'll be uh, interesting. It will be interesting. Hmm. I'm curious as to what blows more. <sighs> yeah, both of them are equally uh, hard to blow stuff through. <sighs> I can't feel anything. Oh well. Well, that's what they look like. Uh, it is, you know, time for a new season at the racetrack, so I need a new filter, so got me a Tom's. So this, this part is going to face inside, and this back part is going to face the outside. So, lift it up, and just insert it. Uh, that's pretty simple. Way to go, Tom's filter. Making it super easy to install. Should slide in pretty easily. 
If not, okay. So I got the filter in on the suction intake side. Now I just gotta put the rest in. It's not typically this difficult. It's not difficult at all right now. Just gotta make sure all the seals are good. All right, once it's sealed, just make sure you put these on. Okay, that's one. And that's two. All right, just make sure the whole box is moving. There's nothing in down there that is uh, undone. Same for this side. The whole unit is moving as a piece together. Okay, that's good. Now, put this thing back. Ooh, can't wait to try out this Tom's filter. Exciting having a Tom's part on my car. I got the Tom's bracing, now I got a Tom's filter. I, I wish I had the Tom's intake, that would be pretty cool. But, anyways guys, that is typically how you install a air filter, an engine air filter for a Lexus RCF. Nothing too complicated. Um, I will say that there has been studies by many people that a intake doesn't do anything for the engine. It just doesn't. So I choose, personally, I choose to do an air filter. Um, that way it, I personally choose to have a, to do an air filter versus a whole intake. That's just my preference. A filter main purpose is to stop debris from going to the engine as it shows right but you can always increase the airflow with a better filter if you kind of have a good filter uh it's hard to explain just know that with a better filter you're gonna get better airflow that's just how it is uh, something less restrictive this one seems to be doing a good job stopping all the debris but at the same time also has a good job of given a good airflow so good power interesting the math sensor is reading a lot higher than before this one's 0.8 it was before 0.7 now we're at 0.75 interesting 0.4 overall there's been a slight increase in the math from what I've noticed because it was 0 0.7 0 0.72 but now it's uh, uh it bounces back and forth but so far there's data that it says something it says it's, it's getting more um, airflow so maybe it's a better filter I don't know I have no idea but I'm going for a drive and see how it worked out So far, uh, it's uh, pretty good. I think there's some placebo effect, but I can hear some suction, which is good. Which is something that my A filter, my A F E A, my A filter never had that. But it's, I will say this is interesting. It's a good filter so far. Let's try this out. better air coming in it wasn't a it was never like that before I think better air is coming in probably because the filter is clean I'm not gonna say it's better like it's not improving airflow I'm gonna say it's just air is actually coming in because the filter is not dirty that's what I'm gonna go with watch this is that too high of a math reading curious but anyways guys this filter is uh working like it's supposed to um just i guess interpret the data how you want to interpret but so far i like it i'm gonna say that it's improving throttle response only because it's a clean air filter but 
a reasonable air filter, Tom's filter, those are both good filters. So this any filter is pretty good. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you kind of like it. Uh, it's kind of difficult to make a video on air filter, but hopefully I can show, uh, hopefully I showed some sort of data. And anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next video. Peace.